morning everyone. Monday yoga, Hatha yoga for the whole body today. So we will go slowly. We will see how much we will cover. I wrote a big class today, but let's see where we will finish. We will start from sitting posture. Any comfortable posture for you. It can be Vajrasana, Adha Padmasana or Sukhasana. Keep your spine straight, chin parallel to the floor. Close your eyes and join your palms in front of your heart. And just focus on your breath. Relax your facial muscles, your shoulders and your elbows relax as well. Release your hands, keep breathing with your eyes closed. Gently open your eyes and now bring into your chest. With inhale, lift your chin all the way up, keep your eyes open. Exhale, chin to your chest, and inhale all the way up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Come back to center, turn your head to the right, and slowly move to the left. To the right and to the left. One more time on each side and come back to the center. Gentle circle with your head. Keep your eyes open. And move to the other direction. Come back to center, hands on the sides of your hips, inhale, bring your hands up, you can join your palms or just keep your hands looking at each other and stay, lengthen into the spine, become taller, keep your facial muscles relaxed and release your hands down, again, inhale, bring your hands up, Breathing in and breathing out. Keep your spine straight. Don't lean back. And release your hands down. One more time. Inhale. Join your palms all the way up. Breathing in and out. And now bring your right hand to the floor and going for lateral stretch. Keeping your other hand above your head, don't, don't, don't drop your head. Keep your ear right where is your upper arm. Feeling the stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, come back. Slowly move it to the other side. Other lateral stretch. Breathing in. And breathing out. Come back to center. With exhale, just gently twist to the right. Breathing in. And out. Come back to center and change. Twist.
come back to the center. You can change the cross on your legs, yeah, just to have that balance. And now, bring your hands in front with exhale, move in front for a good stretch, keeping your sitting bones on the floor. Long inhale, and long exhale. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, going forward, then lifting your arms over the ceiling. Slowly release your hands down and come all the way up. Bring your hands above your shoulders and do shoulder circles. Try to bring your elbows closer to each other. Seeking one is a little bit more challenging and backwards. Keeping your spine up, seeking bones, grounding to the floor. Good. And release. Extend your legs in front. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones. Hands next to your hips, feet little away from each other. Point your toes and flex. Point and flex. Again, point and flex. Point and flex. Gentle ankle circles. Nice big circle for our ankle joints. And change the edge. Good. And now bend your right leg, hug it, and just lift your chest up. Keeping your left leg engaged. Yeah, it's mean your heel, your calf, and your thigh. Pressing the floor and your toes looking up. Good. And now lift your leg up. Stay five. Keep your spine up. Four. Three. Two. One, slowly release and we will change the side. Hug your left leg, engage your right leg with the crown of the head moving up towards the ceiling. And now we will lift our right leg up and stay five, four, three, two, and one, slowly release. Come on your four. For some cat and cow, your wrist under your shoulders, knees hip distance. You can tuck your toes or untuck. Your hips tuck above your knees. Inhale, open your chest, look up. And exhale, round your back, chin to your chest, stomach in. Again, inhale. Arching your lower back, look up, shoulders blades moving away from your ears. And exhale, round. Inhale, up. And exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Warming up our front side of the body and our spine. Inhale up and exhale round. One more time. Inhale, look up and exhale round. Come back to the center. We will do spinal balance. Stretch your right leg up and lift parallel to the floor. I will move a little bit in front. <laughs> And now lift your left hand off the floor, look down, keep your stomach in, and stay five, four, 
3, 2, and slowly release. And we will change the side. Extend your left leg, lift it up parallel to the floor, extend your right hand, engage your core muscles, look down and stay five, four, three, find your balance, two, and one. Slowly release. Again, stretch your right leg, lift it up, left hand off the floor, with exhale, round your back, bring your elbow towards your stomach, knee to your chest, inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze, and inhale, stretch. Two more times. Exhale, and inhale, stretch. One more time. And stretch. And release. And we will come to the other side. Extend your left leg. Lift up parallel to the floor. Don't try to reach up. Just bring parallel to the floor and extend your right hand. With exhale, round your back. Stomach in. And inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze everything out. And inhale, stretch. Two more times. Round. And stretch. One more time. Round. And stretch. Release. Everything down. And now a little bit more challenging. You will bring your right leg up. And you will lift your right hand off the floor. So more challenging balance. Look down. Oops. Finding your balance, try to square your hips and stay four, three, two, one. Slowly release and changing. Left leg comes up. Find your balance. Look at this as no challenge as a game. Lift your left leg up and slowly start to lift your left hand. Look down, engage your core muscle and stay four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. And now for another challenge, lift your right leg, bend your knees. With the left hand, hold your foot and lift your chest up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release. And change. So if you cannot grab your foot, you can just stay in this position. Yeah? If you can grab it, lift and move your foot not towards your hip away. To lift your chest more up. And stay. And slowly release. Big toes together, knees apart. Bring your hips on your heels. Extend your arms. Mat distance between your hands. And bring forehead to the floor. Rest in child's pose. So do not put your elbows on the floor. Stretch your arms. So our sides of our body continue stretching, moving hips towards our heels. So if you are in position where your hips are lifted and you compensating with your hands moving in front, move your hips on your heels, bring your hands a little bit closer and only then stay in the pose. This pose allows us to open our lower back, it's stretching our spine, stretches our quadriceps muscles, and look in front, 
calm on your floor and we will come to Bhujangasana. So we will come first to Ashtang Namaskar, bring your chin, chest to the floor, hips in the air, stomach do not touch in the floor, and slide in front for a small cobra. Keep your hip, heels together, lift your chest up, look up, and now move your feet, mat distance, hands slightly away from your chest, and come to high cobra. That will be inhale, exhale, moving all the way down, bring your head to the floor, and we will repeat five times. Inhale, lifting your chest up, pressing your pubic bone towards the floor, shoulders away from your ears, and exhale, moving down. Inhale, up, look up, and exhale, down. Inhale, lifting your chest up, look up, and exhale down. Two more times. Inhale, up, and exhale down. One more time. Inhale, up, look up. And exhale, down. Hands next to your ribs. Bring your feet together. Lift your body up. Coming back to child pose. Widen your knees. Big toes together. Bring your hips on your heels. Extend your hands. And bring forehead to the floor. And stay in child pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Look in front, come again on your floor, and we come again to Ashtang Namaskar. Exhale, chin, chest to the floor. And inhale, come to high cobra. Look up. So now we will keep in our feet together. Exhale, coming back to Bhujangasana. Oh, sorry, to the floor. And inhale, we are coming to high cobra. Keeping your feet together. Look up. Zip your legs. And exhale down. Again, inhale up. So if you cannot stretch your arms, it's fine to stay with bent elbows. And exhale down. Two more times. Inhale, lift your chest up. Zip your legs so your glutes are having good work. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale down. Coming on your knees. Now we're keeping our knees together, child pose, hips on your heels. Bring your hands on the floor next to your feet, forehead on the floor. And stay here. So this is classical balasan, child pose. It's good after back bends because you have support of your thighs. So your spine has nice curve. Your shoulders also relaxed in this pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Hands next to your head. Look in front, come on your floor, tabletop position. Knees hip distance, stack your toes and we will come to downward facing dog. You can pedal your legs one at a time to feel stretching your calves and your hamstrings. 
moving your hips up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. Join your feet together and lift your right leg up for one or three leg dog. And stay all the weight now on your left foot. Bend your knee and step with your foot between your hands for high lunge. Keeping your left leg straight, breathing in, breathing out, and now bring your knee to the floor for a low lunge, it means that your hips moving down, not up, push your hips down, and bring your hands up, and stay, create space, move your stomach away from your thigh and move your hips more down to the floor and stay five four three two and one bring your hands to the floor leave your left hand next to your foot and open right hand to the ceiling gentle twist Look up, breathing in, hips still down, don't lift your hips up. Yeah, find your alignment, look up. And bring your hand to the floor, moving to Ardha Hanumanasana. You will move your hip just stuck above your knee and straighten your right leg, pointing your toes towards your chest. Look at your big toe and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Lift your quadricep muscle up. Stay long inhale and long exhale. It's an amazing stretch for your hamstring and your glute muscle. Stay for three, two, and one. Moving your leg back to low lunge and lift your hands up. Look up and stay. Breathing in and breathing. And now again, hands to the floor, we will do dynamic low lunge with Ardha Hanumanasana. Exhale, come into Ardha Hanumanasana. Your front leg is straight on your heel. Exhale, next exhale, low lunge, moving your hips down. Make sure that your front leg is 90 degree, yeah, that your foot not behind, but more in front. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. And coming back to low lunge. Relax your facial muscle, don't bite your lips. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. It's amazing stretch for your legs and your lower back. And exhale, low lunge. One more time. Coming to Ardha Hanumanasana. And come into low lunge. Tuck your toes and you will step to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance, stomach in, long inhale and long exhale. And now inhale, come into plank. Moving your hips down and lifting your chest up. So your toes are tucked, your thighs and knees not touching the floor. And exhale, you are moving back to downward facing dog. Here we are using our core muscle. Inhale, moving to plank. 
and pu pushing our hips down, lifting our chest up, upward facing dog is tucked, toes, and exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, moving slowly to plank, control your movement, moving hips down, lifting chest up, look up, shoulders away from your ears, and exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, going to plank, hips down, look up. And coming to downward facing dog. Knees to the floor, feet together, coming to child pose and rest. Forehead on the floor, hands next to your feet and relax. hands next to your head, lift yourself up for table pose, we are coming to downward facing dog, feet hip distance first, stomach in, look between your knees or your feet, now join your feet together and lift your left leg up for three leg dog, all the weight shifted to our right foot, And bend your leg. Step with your right foot, well, so the left foot, to high lunge. Moving your right heel backwards and crown of the head in front. Now bring your right knee to the floor or low lunge. Lifting your hands up and moving your hips down and stay five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to the floor, keeping your right hand on the ground. Lift your left hand up for twist and stay. Five, four, three. And come back for low lunge first. And we are coming for Ardha Hanumanasana. Moving your hip back, stuck above your knee. Bringing your left leg on your heel. Straightening your leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Look at your big toe and stay. Breathing in. So even if you are high, no problem. We are working on our hamstring here mostly. Don't move your hip too back. Yeah, keep the beautiful alignment, and this will help you to open your body more. And coming back to low lunge. Good. And we will come to dynamic. Ardha Hanumanasana and low lunge. Exhale, moving the Ardha Hanumanasana, straightening your front leg. And next exhale for low lunge. So we are staying for, for inhale in the pose. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Next exhale, low lunge. Moving your hips low as possible and again moving to Ardha Hanumanasana you are noticing that with every new movement you are going lower towards the floor exhale low lunge and coming to Ardha Hanumanasana And last 
low lunge. Come into downward facing dog, tuck your right toes and come into downward facing dog. Feet hip distance. Inhale, coming into the plank, moving hips down, lift your chest up or upward facing dog, look up and exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, moving through the plank to upward facing dog, hips down, chest up, look up. And exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, plank, and come into upward facing dog. And come back to downward facing dog. Knees to the floor and come to child's pose and relax. So in classical child pose, you wrist relaxing as well. We did loads of downward facing dog and upward facing dog, so it's good time to rest our wrist. And slowly come on all four table pose, knees hip distance, and you will do cut and cow. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale, round your back. One more time. Inhale, up. And exhale out. Come back to neutral spine. Come to downward facing dog. Lengthening the spine. Look in front. Bring your right leg between your hands for high lunge. Moving your hips down. Pushing the left heel backwards. And inhale. Bring your hands up. Lifting your torso up. Stay five, four, three. Make sure that your front knee is not looking in. It's looking at your second and third toe. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers and open your chest. Look up and stay five. Finding your balance, four. Three, two, and one. Release your hands, bring your namaste in front of your chest, and with exhale, come to Parivari Trikanasan, twist towards your bent leg. Look up and stay. Breathing in and out. Still. Keep your hips down, your hands in the middle of your chest. Good. Look down. Bring your hands to the floor. Straighten your front leg. Yeah, so your back heel is up and you are straightening your front leg. It's a pyramid pose, variation of Parshwakanasan. And stay five, four, three. You can go lower if you feel, if you can bring your hands to the floor. Or stay higher, two, one. Bend your front leg and bring your left knee to the floor for low lunge. Hands above your knee first. And now bring your right hand up and clasp your hands behind your back. Gamukhasan hands, yeah? If you cannot clasp your hand, just hold the t-shirt and stay. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, hands to the floor. Come first to table pose. Knees hip distance. Hips stuck above your knees and walk with your hands in front. Bring your forehead to the floor. Anahatasana. If you feel very comfortable here and you feel like you want to open your chest even more, bring your chin and chest to the floor. And stay in the pose. Slowly coming out of the pose. Bringing your elbows parallel to each other. Yeah? Right versus shoulders. Un untuck your forearms. Clasp your hands. Yeah? So this is, I will show you closer. You bring in your hands, forearms parallel to each other. You untuck and clasp in your hands. So we will actually come to dolphin pose. If you don't want to clasp your hands, you can just put them parallel to each other. Yeah? I love to clasp. Tuck your toes and as downward facing dog, you will lift your hips up and stay in the pose. It's a nice opening for your shoulders. Continue moving your hips up and back. And stay five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees to the floor. Undo your hands. Coming on your four, coming to downward facing dog. You can feel that your downward facing dog is much deeper now. And now look in front and step with your left leg in front for high lunge. Lifting your torso up and bringing your hands up. And stay. Breathing in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Find your alignment, lifting your lower abdomen up, moving your back heel back so your right leg is straight now. Your hips looking forward. Bring your hands behind, interlace your fingers, opening your chest. Continue staying in the pose, it's our strength. And breathe. Release your hands. Bring in front in Namaste. Exhale, twist towards your bent leg. Parivit Parshapanasana. Look up and stay. Coming back. Bring your hands to the floor. And now bring your knee down for low lunge, lifting your torso up, bring your left hand up and clasp your hands behind for Kamukhasan hands. Again, don't lift your hips up, push your hips down and stay five, four, three, Two and one. Slowly release. Step in tabletop pose. Knees hip distance. Hips stuck above your knees. Just walk with your hands in front. Again for heart melting pose. Your forehead or your chin chest to the floor. And stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly coming up, knees together, and coming to child's pose for a good 
rest and stay. Reason in and reason out. Hands next to your chest or your head. Slowly come up. And we will come to Vajrasan. So Vajrasan is the way I'm sitting. You are sitting on your heels. If this is difficult for you, here you have a lot of discomfort. You can always have a block or a pillow and just sit on top of it. Yeah? So you are sitting in Vajrasan. Hold your elbows behind. And just stay there. You can close your eyes if you want to. And stay five, four, three, two, one. And now change the hold of your elbows. Yeah, so now other elbow will be on top. So you will feel less comfort in hold. And stay five, four, three, two, and one. Clasp your hands and inhale, stretch. Breathing in. Do not arch your back. This is position is amazing for your back. It's keeping it your spine neutral. Stretch your arms more up, but still your sitting bones on your heels. Feeling lengthening of your sides, spacing your ribs. And release your hands down. Coming on your floor. Tuck your toes, come into plank. And one push-up. Only one push-up today. So you can do on your knees, lifting your feet and you do push-up. Or you come to Chaturanga Dandasana all the way down to the floor. Good. And we will do half Dhanurasana. Bend your right leg, hold your right foot, extend your left hand. <laughs> what do we do for a teaching? We are turning. Extend your left hand, forehead on the floor, and we will lift everything up. Inhale, lift, and stay five. So everything lift up, your legs up, your hands up, your chest up, and stay three, two, one. Slowly release. Bend your left leg, grab with your left hand, with inhale, again, lift everything up and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Relax in Makrasan. Hand on hand, side of the face on your hands. Big toes together, heels apart. Breathe in and breathe out. And now we will do Shalabhasan or a locust pose. So you will bring your chin on the floor. Hands next to your hips. Zip your legs. It means that your heels together, feet together. You will lift your chest and your legs up, keeping your hands on the ground. Inhale, lift, and stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release and relax in Makrasana.
come again, chin on the ground. Clasp your hands behind your back. We will do again Shahabhasan. Now feet, you can bring mat distance. Inhale, lift everything up and step five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release and relax in Makrasa. Breathing in and breathing out. Hands next to your chest, tuck your toes, come to table pose and come to downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Look in front, step in front to seated position, extend your legs for Dandasan. Keep your hands next to your hips, elbows moving back, keeping your spine up, toes looking up, and stay. Five, four, don't lean back, don't arch your back, so if you feel that your back is rounding, sit on the block or on the folded uh, blanket. And now we will come for Paschimottanasana, forward bend. Inhale, bring your hands up and exhale, moving in front. So wherever you are, you can hold your feet, you can hold your shin, but I prefer to keep your hands just next to your legs. Yes, that we don't have any tension on our shoulders and our back. Make sure you are sitting on your sitting bones and you will just stay here. Fully relax your ha hands, but your legs are fully active. So your heels, your calves, your thighs, your sitting bones, everything is pressing the floor. And stay. Five. Four. Relax your hands, fully relax. Only your legs are working. Three. Two and one. Inhale, coming all the way up, bringing your hands behind your hips, fingers looking at your hips. Inhale, lift your hips up, look up, trying to reach with your big toes the floor for Vatasan. Stay one line and slowly release. Good. Cross your legs. We will do one vinyasa. Bring your hands in front. Lift your hips up, coming on your knees. Untuck your legs. Come into downward facing dog. Move into the plank. You can come bringing your hips down for upward facing dog, look up, back to downward facing dog. Again, look in front, step to seated, while I'm changing what we have next. Cross your legs now, for Sukhasana, lift your chest up. And now you will bring your hands behind. This is one of my favorite. Yeah, like 10 inches, maybe seven from your hips. Pressing your palms to the floor. Inhale, opening your chest and look up. Your shoulder blades coming closer to each other. Look up and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Come back. Now, twist. 
gentle twist. Inhale, lengthen in your spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Look above your right shoulder. Don't lean back. Keep your spine up. Come back to the center. With exhale, twist to the other side. Again, keeping your spine up. Keeping yourself tall. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Look above your left shoulder. And come back to the center. You will clasp your left wrist with your right hand behind. We will come for yoga mudra. Yes, sitting again in Sukhasan or Svastikasan. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, moving all the way down, leading with your chin, chest. And try to bring your forehead to the floor without lifting your sitting bones from the floor. Relax your shoulders and speak. Inhale slowly with control, coming all the way up and release everything down. Lie on your back and hug your knees for Pavanukdasana. You can rock side to side, massaging your lower back. Hands above your head to the floor. Extend your leg up 90 degrees, flex your feet, and stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your legs again, hug your knees, and rock in a side to side. Again, extend your arms and extend your legs towards the ceiling, flex your feet and stay five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your legs, hug your knees. Just hug your right leg, extend your left a pavanatasan holding your right knee with your left hand extend your right hand to the side exhale bring your right knee to the left keeping your shoulders on the ground gentle twist breathing in and release out. Come back slowly to the center, hug the knee again, and release down. Bend your left knee towards your chest, shoulders on the floor, Holding your knee with your right hand, extend your left hand to the side. Exhale, drop your left knee to the right. Again, keep your shoulders on the ground. Look to the left and stay in the arms. Inhale, come back, hug your knee to your chest, and release. 
Lie down for Shavasana. Extend your legs, comfortable distance, wide distance. Make sure that your back is comfortable, your tailbone is comfortable. Hands away from your body, palms looking up. And close your eyes. Relax your toes, your ankles. My toes, my ankles are relaxed. Relax your calves. My calves are Relax. Relax your knees. My knees are Relax your thighs. My thighs are relaxed. Relax your hips. My hips are Relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. Relax your chest. My chest is relaxed. Relax your shoulders, your arms, hands. My shoulders, my arms, and my hands are relaxed. Relax your facial muscles. My facial muscles are relaxed. My body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the crown of my head. With every exhalation, release any tension from your physical body. With every exhalation, release any tension, any worries from your body. If you feel like staying in Shavasana for a longer period of time, stay in Shavasana. If you want to come out, start to move your toes and your fingers, bringing awareness to each part of your body. Bend your legs and turn to your right side. With support of your hands, slowly come to comfortable seating posture, keeping your spine straight and parallel to the floor. Join your hands in Namaste in front of your heart. 
Bring your hands to your forehead. Reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart. Reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth. Reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a wonderful day or night. See you on the mountain Wednesday. Love and light.